Well, you did get in the um, uh, second test team. It was a must, must win one. Um, can you describe your feelings when you were told? When were you told, by the way? Uh, it was all a bit of a blur. I, uh, it wasn't on the day. It can't be on the day, can it? No, it wasn't on the day. I, I think it was uh, the evening before. I think Sean might have let the bag out, let the cat out of the bag um, by sort of giving me a nudge and a wink. <laughs> <laughs> Um, or you know, so that you just, you know, when you when you when you played that long and in, in been around that many international squads, you get a sense anyway, don't you? I mean, yeah. you, you, you certainly know when you dropped, and and, <laughs> yeah. and and sometimes it's pretty uh, pretty obvious when you when you're going to get picked. So I knew, and and you know, the sort of smile was already coming across my face, pretty loud and, and proud. So um, yeah, it was, but it's still. An incredible um, feeling when your your name is announced as a as a as a test player for the Lions. So, sure. well, we're getting to the match itself. It's gone down to one of the most memorable test matches, you know, uh, that there's been uh, Lions test matches. Um, what do you remember about the lead up to it and the atmosphere in the stadium and so on? Um, I I mean I personally, uh, despite having said that I'm a very laid back player, it's probably one of the few times leading into a game where I, where I literally got no sleep and, and, and I was the more I panicked about not having sleep the less I could sleep so uh, just because it was less about me feeling like I was worthy or uh, deserved the opportunity more because you know there were a couple of changes in the scrum and the expectations were therefore that that would change everything and you know as well as I do in scrummaging it's not always the case um and you know i just i just feared so much that i would let the side down I, that i wouldn't be able to deliver on this kind of promise that and obviously the press build it up and and the coaches are building it up and they're all saying well you know we're going to bring shorzy into the squad because you know he gives us that physicality and blah blah blah, blah and you're sort of thinking, Christ, you know, can we all play it down a bit <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I might, you know, I, I might not deliver, but um, yeah. So it was more, it was more spending sort of twenty four hours, forty eight hours, just in a little bit of a panic, to be honest. Well, one of the things and the big differences is that the referee the front row properly, and uh, um, Terawi the beast wasn't allowed to slip his binding, go outside and ram a right shoulder up. I mean, it was obvious to me in the first test, and uh, you know, I don't think. Uh, I think it was Vicks, wasn't it? I don't think that he could have done much about that because once you step out, it's anatomically impossible. You you can't keep a you know can't keep a uh, with just a shoulder. You can't keep someone's force down once he steps outside. Uh, and, and once he wasn't allowed to do that, I don't understand more. So <laughs> <there you> <laughs> <laughs> well, all you're feeling in second row is that you know you're going backwards. I mean, you, you had a great. I mean, you did have a great. Uh, you had a great uh, test match, um, and. Um, that early exchange with Backies, what was that about? Uh, no, well, I, I think I, I can't recall whether it was straight off the kickoff or the first line-out drive they did, but they 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 trundles up the pitch, you know, twenty meters or something, and he just, you know, we sort of were chest to chest at some point, and he, and he said, you know, I thought, you know, I thought you were the, you know, hey big guy, I thought you were the guy that was going to kind of come in and stop this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've always always been that, that one of those players that, that kind of needed to be punched before they got you know excited about anything or, or riled up and and it was just that comment I thought you know he's, he's absolutely he's bang on you know <laughs> I've, not, I've not done my job first and foremost so it, it yeah so it just it, it added a bit of fuel to the fire and and yeah you know it just set me off a bit so well, um, good for that. I mean, everyone remembers the... I was actually in Ireland watching the game. I was at Carphone Warehouse, uh, do. Um, I remember the, the, uh, the error from Rowan Nagar. I remember saying in the debrief afterwards, of all the things he could have done, there were loads of things he could have done, all of which would have been OK. There was one thing that he shouldn't have done, and that's what he did. Now, obviously, he didn't do it on purpose. And I think, you know, you know people forget it was a bloody long kick, was that? He was never the given. Everyone thinks of... Definitely going to through. I mean, Gitch told us that he knew uh, Stain would slot it on his home ground. What um, what was your thoughts when the penalty went through? Uh, oh, de absolutely devastated, obviously. But um, you know, I, 
look, I, I, I feel for Roan. I've been in, I've been in a situation where you know you, you come off the bench and your, your first focus is I've got to do, I've got to contribute in some way, shape, or form. I've got to do something, um, lift uh, the team via you know whether it's a tackle, whether it's a kick, or whatever it is. And and I think be, because he was you know part of the missed tackle in the corner, he, you know that doubled up. And you know Sh Sean Edwards is you know, forever pushed home this, you know, don't double up on your errors. You will, you know, when you make an error, you will inevitably want to make up for that error straight away. And then, you know, your, your body's brimming with with um, adrenaline and, you know, almost to, to overload points. So you kind of have to pull yourself back. Mm -hmm. And and he didn't do that, but we've all been there and it's, you know, <laughs> unfortunately not at that, perhaps at that level. Although, you know, I played in a top 14 final and, and literally gave the same penalty away twice off a kickoff and and I and I you know stood there afterwards and thought why have, why have you done that you've done exactly the same thing as you did two minutes ago and given another penalty when to lose a kick to it, like sometimes you just lose control of, of your mind and and I, I think you know that's when sometimes people need to step in and say look just just rein it in a bit